You see that engine? It's just been fired up. And when the body comes down and locks over and you look out the screen and you've got your crew chief just holding you back. And then he waves you forward. There's you in there on your own. I was always interested in cars from a very young age. Eventually, I got to the track and see these cars run that I'd been following for so long just through magazines. Particularly the Nitro cars. This one team that I always followed was Dennis Priddle Racing and um, gave me the inspiration merely to, to carry, you know, go, go and have a go myself. Prepping for a weekend starts from the end of the last event. You get the car back home, you dismantle the engine down to the block and the crankshaft so you can inspect everything. Then you start reassembly. That will be for the next event. Once you start reassembling, you may find that you need several parts. You pretty much check everything every nut and bolt. And then once you think you've checked everything, you probably do it all again. It's tedious, but you get into a routine. If you want the car to be safe and you want it to run as quick as you want it to run, just do it. It can take your life over. You have to live and breathe it. You live and breathe it. When you get to the track, the pressure comes off a bit, because you're there. It's all starting to happen. And people say to me, are you getting excited? I say, I'm not excited until I'm strapped in that car and I know everything's okay. When I'm strapped in the car and the starter's plugged in, and I know everything's been checked over, that's when you get excited, because you know it's happening now. People don't realise, with Nitro, you can stomp on the throttle. And it can be over like that. When you do complete the pass and everything's gone to plan, yeah, that's, that's real, that feels great. Must be, it must be great for it just to, just to go down the track every time. Must be wonderful. It, well, what more could you really want, Daryl? You know, what more could you want? If we can just get into the six twenties somewhere yeah. like that, six, you know, six, Almost six, six times. Got to get back a bit. Look after right. yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, yeah, will do. You. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Paul contacted a guy called Dennis Brittle, who was one of the greatest racers in Europe, to build a tribute funny car, an old Avenger. Dennis used to run way back in the 70s. Dennis Priddle was, um, uh, he was a reserved character. He was 
pretty damn good at what he did. He never boasted about what he was doing or achieving, but he was kind of matching the Americans at, at their, their sport back in that time in the 70s. All of us have a um, somebody we sort of look to. I didn't support whoever football team, I supported Dennis Priddle. <laughs> I would say, ultimately, Dennis was the one that sort of spurred me on, yeah. Star of the Meat was a swoopy black monster-bodied flopper built by Dennis Priddle. After talking to Dennis gave me the go-ahead, build the tribute car. We either had one built in the UK for him, or we went to the States and bought a ready-to-race outfit. Uh, I bought the car from the United States. Uh, I bought it from a guy called Troy Martin that was successful running the car, the Chai Town Hustler. Very famous car. My aim was to eventually put the Monza body on the car and that's where um, Dennis and Brian Savage came in as well to help me with that. Paul and a guy called Star and Dennis Brittle were in Sweden. We were invited over there to 50th anniversary of drag racing. After far too many bottles of wine and a very, very good meal in the hotel, we decided that the only way to travel is to, to finish the project off by doing a tribute Monza. The Monza was a car that Dennis ran back in the late 70s, very early, early, very early 80s. The body was purchased in the States and flown over. It was then put in Dennis's workshop, started, started work on the car. He was also involved in the um, alteration work that was required on the the chassis of the car, along with a guy called Brian Savage, Brian Star Savage, who did the body for me. He actually did all the tin work and all the major work on the Monza body shell that I'm currently running. They reckon it's going to take six months. I at the time said absolutely no way. The way we guys work, we're all getting older. It's going to take us a few more months than six months. I was more or less correct. It took almost a year to finish the body off. However, Body is I've got his name on my car, yeah. I've added Priddle Harris Racing, and that is a tribute um, to the original Monza that Dennis built for a Finnish guy. His name was on the back of the car, and I've kind of done a copy of that. Dennis died back in um, 21, back in 2021. He did see the car painted and finished, but he didn't get to see me drive the car. I'd already driven a car with a different body to the body that I'm currently running. Dennis watched me drive that and he see me license, etc. But he unfortunately didn't actually see the Monza run. However, Paul, continues to run this funny car now. Oh, it's beautiful. Very, it's a great right. tribute. Yeah, everyone said maybe the other one Sorry, I get a bit choked off <laughs> I should be laughing really. But yes, yeah. a fabulous funny well, car. Well, tribute well, to a great day. Well, Cheers Paul. It was the last car we actually worked on. Race car. Yeah. Um, thrill, because there's nothing like it. It's just unbelievable. My younger self, you should should have gone racing younger. <laughs>